works in the development world, knows that there are two very critical issues in every deal. What are they? Timing and partnerships. Timing is a critical element on all projects, and time has not been on our side for Portage Crossing. Since the inception of Portage Crossing and Council's approval of this project in 2010, many issues have taken more time than originally planned. Factors such as the inability to move Pizza Hut, which in turn prevented Menards from building their two-story facility at this location, probably set us back maybe eight to nine months. And I should mention that we have not given up on Menards as part of our overall development plan. We continue to work with their real estate division with the goal to construct a, a store here at Cuyahoga Falls. And we are not bemoaning the fact that Menards will not be located at Portage Crossing as the developers judiciously replaced it with a 10-screen Cinemark, and because the theater footprint is smaller than Menards, it also opened up three additional outlots, which I believe will be more conducive to the type of center that we are trying to create here in Cuyahoga Falls. The good news is um, we're pleased to announce we're ready to go. Um, we have um, uh, completed all of the agreements necessary with both anchor tenants. Um, those agreements um, have been uh, synced up so that um, they are consistent with, with each other, which is no small task. Um, the co-tenancy for Giant Eagle is completely satisfied. Co-tenancy for um, Cinemark is completely satisfied, or satisfied minus one small lease. And as you can see from what I'm going to show you, um, the darker gray are signed deals. The lighter gray are letters of intent that um, are far along in negotiations uh, such that the tenants are okay with us naming them where they're named. There's a few that uh, resisted and said they are not named. We're pleased to announce that in addition to a signed lease with Cinemark, um, we um, also have signed leases with Fashion Nails, a nail salon, and um, Best Cuts, the hair cutting place. Um, we're also pleased to announce that um, uh, we have a signed letter of intent, which we anticipate um, because of our longstanding relationship uh, and turning into a ground lease for the first out parcel, which you see in the middle, that was created um, with Huntington Bank. Um, and uh, so we are uh, basically at the point now where um, we are ready to go. We anticipate groundbreaking in August. The city has created an economic development grant that will be funded from the admissions tax that is generated from the new movie theater in the amount of $129,600 annually for 10 years. In year 11, the grant expires, and then 100% of the admissions tax will come back to the city. This is similar to tax abatement agreements, but for the construction of the theater, these revenues would never be realized. The second item is last November, we talked about including an electric reimbursement, which would have been $70,000 for 15 years for a total of $1,050,000. The current amendment before council now consists of $50,000 for 10 years for a reduction of $550,000.